how did Edward Swarby, an African man, come to be working as a porter in rural Gloucestershire? You may well ask. Well, I think that he is most likely to have ended up in Gloucestershire because Sir Edward Winter set out on a voyage to the Caribbean with Sir Francis Drake in 1585. And Englishmen inevitably would encounter Africans when they set out across the Atlantic to raid the Spanish ports in the Caribbean. Because between 1502 and 1619, over 300,000 Africans were transported to the Americas, mostly by the Portuguese and mostly to work in the Spanish, um, I'll show you, in the Spanish colonies um, that had developed by this point. And I uh, have a, an image of, of some of them working in a, a Spanish silver mine here. But not all Africans in the Spanish Atlantic world remained enslaved. Some of them managed to escape into the hinterland and set up their own settlements, and they were known as the Maroons. Uh, and you can find Maroons in every um, place that Europeans brought enslaved Africans because the desire for freedom never left them, and where possible, they did escape. And uh, we have this fantastic portrait of three maroon leaders um, from Esmeraldas in Ecuador. And here they're on a treaty signing visit to Quito in 1599. And I think this image really projects the sort of military power that they had in this world. And it's this fantastic uh, combination of three different cultures in one image. The artist himself was indigenous um, Ecuadorian. And you can see that in indigenous jewellery, the gold jewellery they're wearing, as well as the Spanish clothing, and of course their African heritage. So there's a lot going on there. Um, so again, while we're familiar with Francis Drake, his voyages to the Caribbean and encounters with Africans often remain untold. And actually,